Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Immigration Quick Take. We hope you're doing great. Mexico closes its doors, migrants from Nicaragua leave on their own. In recent years, Mexico has played a crucial role as a transit country for migrants from Central and South America aiming to reach the United States. Among these migrants, Nicaraguans face significant challenges exacerbated by evolving immigration policies and enforcement measures by Mexican and U.S. authorities. This summary explores the evolving situation of Nicaraguan migrants in Mexico, particularly in Chiapas, and their decisions to return home amidst shifting policies. Chiapas, located near the Guatemala border, has historically been a key route for migrants moving northward through Mexico. However, recent policy shifts influenced by U.S. directives have led Mexico to tighten its immigration controls, aiming to curb irregular crossings and manage migrant flows more rigorously. These changes have directly impacted Nicaraguan migrants, many of whom find themselves stranded or facing uncertain futures in Chiapas. In response, some like Joel Hernandez and his family have opted to voluntarily return to Nicaragua rather than risk irregular entry into Mexico or deportation from the United States. The experiences of migrants like Hernandez highlight the difficult choices they face amidst heightened enforcement measures. In Tapachula, a major city in Chiapas, migrants from Haiti, Cuba, Venezuela, Africa and Ecuador encounter varying challenges and opportunities based on their nationalities and the latest U.S. immigration policies. While some seek legal status in Mexico by surrendering at immigration stations, or others remain unaware or uncertain of their options, underscoring disparities in information and support across migrant communities. The influx of migrants and stringent immigration policies place considerable strain on Chiapas resources and services. Mexican authorities, including the National Immigration Institute, navigate complex logistical and humanitarian challenges as they balance enforcement with humanitarian considerations. This pressure underscores the broader implication of migration policies on both migrants and socio-economic dynamics of host regions. The migration crisis in Chiapas is a part of a larger regional challenge reshaped by the U.S. immigration policies under the Biden administration. Under these dynamics requires examining interconnected policies and responses across borders, emphasizing human rights, regional stability, and international cooperation. In conclusion, the situation of Nicaraguan migrants in Chiapas reflects the complexities of contemporary migration governance in the Americas. Addressing these challenges necessitates enhanced cooperation between Mexico, the United States, and the regional partners, increased humanitarian support for migrants, community engagement to foster integration, and advocacy for policies that uphold human rights and address migration socioeconomic drivers. By pursuing collaborative efforts and principled policymaking, stakeholders can work towards a more equitable and sustainable approach to managing migration flows in the region.